Hi, this is Katherine Dubberly, the Answer Lady. Today I have an exciting project I wanted to share with you. I'm learning to use the Authentic Knitting Board All-in-One Loom as a bulky loom for single knitting. Turns out to be really, really easy. Let's have a look. As you know, the All-in-One Loom is really designed for yarn the weight that I'm holding in my hands, the green strand. And it is to knit, this is worsted yarn to knit as a single strand on single stockinette. Comes out about four stitches per inch, sometimes five stitches per inch. Does lovely work. No problem. But what if we would like to knit something bulkier? Here's what I've come up with. If you set up the loom so that the pegs are touching, not really the pegs, but the boards with the pegs on them, and the spacer is simply used to help secure the whole thing, under the nut. Then you treat each pair of pegs as though it was a single peg. It knits bulky yarns, number five yarns, very well. Look what I'm getting here. About three stitches per inch. There are six stitches here. And it's covering two inches. So it's a much thicker project and you can see these yarns that I'm using. The purple and the beige are both number fives. They're not the same as each other, but you know there's always variation. And this is a relatively thick number four. So this extends the range of possibilities quite a lot. Now if I were casting on using this beige yarn, here is how I would do it. E-wrap, two pegs as though they were one, E-wrap. And each time I just pretend that the pair of pegs is one gigantic peg. Like that. Here is what I'm working on. A bulky Aaron design. And I'll show you how we stitch on it. Oh, in case you're wondering about my interesting hook, this is the subject of another video. This was made from a pen and a nail. Let's get some slack in this yarn. My first few stitches are knit one, purl one. We're making seed stitch, but I'm slipping the very first. So that would be my knit one, purl one. Now here's the only tricky part. This back of the stitch would like to hang up on this peg. Don't let it. Make sure that it surrounds the peg entirely. That was the purl one. Knit one, lifting all the way over. Purl one. Make sure it goes all the way back. Knit one. And one more purl for the pattern that I'm working on. So that's my seed stitch border. Now, I happen to have memorized this pattern so that I know that the next two stitches are both purls, and there's a little shortcut you can take when there are two purls together. That's pull up a couple of loops and lift them both off and replace them. I don't have good success with more than three in a row done like this, but two is no problem at all. Now the next few stitches are all knits, so I bring my yarn to the front. By the way, I'm not using an E-wrap stitch for this design, although you can on this board. I'm using a U-wrap stitch. So let's lift and give it a little pull over the top and watch this yarn. Notice that it will adjust itself. See it pulling through? to make the correct length of stitch. So if you keep your touch gentle, your stitches will come out even just because the yarn will adjust itself as you work around the pegs. Isn't that neat? If you have other looms that are already this bulky, 
you may not need the technique but if you enjoy working on the all-in-one this makes the all-in-one even more versatile it's an even more in one now